So hey, how's it going? Vladimir Adonis here. So hey, today I wanted to talk about what type of content you should create to attract your specific audience. Depending on your specific audience and depending on your product type, there's different types of content that you should be creating. So I'm going to be talking about two different types of products depending on that specific product type. That's the content you should be creating. So product type number one. So if any of this stuff here explains your specific product, so in the first box, this first box here, if it explains your product type, then I'm going to tell you what type of content you should be creating. So um, the first thing is if your product type is expensive. So expensive, I know that could be a relative term. But let's just say if it's a couple of hundred dollars or more, then I would I would go ahead and put it in this specific category. So that's you, that's that specific product type. Um, if it requires a commitment, so a long term commitment per se, a couple of weeks of commitment or a couple of months of co commitment, that falls in, into this specific category. If there's misconceptions, if people are kind of just not not a hundred percent clear and they have questions about that specific product, I would put it in this specific category. Um, if um, if they're just not aware, they're not aware of how that specific product can go ahead and help them, I would go ahead I would go ahead and put it in the first box for the first product type. So what explains those type of product type? Those type of products type can explain some of the things that I do. So from from the um from a social media marketing standpoint, I help businesses generate leads and then turn those leads into sales. However, some people may not necessarily be aware of how they may help them right away. That's because that may require a commitment. We may have to work together for a couple of months. Um, you know, the price may, may be a little bit higher. So for some specific individuals, this may require me to educate them. This may require me to go ahead and put out content like this to kind of just educate them on why they might need something like this, a specific service like this, why it might be helpful to their specific business. Um, you know, I should be answering some questions that they may have so from a misconception standpoint. I should be telling them some of the misconceptions that are out there. I should be go ahead. I should be giving them tips on how they can how, how they can get closer to to solving the lead generation problem, the sales problem. I should be providing those specific content because I should be educating those specific individuals because of the product type. Because the product type requires a higher commitment, the product type requires a higher price. I should be spending a little bit more time with those specific individuals. Those specific individuals is not going to be ready to make a decision right away unless they go through those specific phases. They're going to have a whole bunch of different questions and you got to be able to kind of just cover that in your specific content. So for that specific type, you know, you would go ahead and, and answer those specific questions. You would answer their questions. You would go ahead and give them tips on how the thing that you do could help them. And you would go ahead and kind of just advance the education process. So that's what you would do for that specific product type. The next type of product is, um, is, is, is a product that's pretty much easy to understand. So let's just say, just for the sake of this specific conversation, a toothbrush, for example. If you're selling a toothbrush, right, you don't have to do much education, right? All you have to do in that specific instance is say, hey, you know what? You want to make sure that you, you have a, um, you, your, your breath is smelling good? Buy this specific to toothbrush. So in that specific instance, all that you're doing is that you're talking about the problem and you're saying, hey, I have a solution, right? So that's a very you know, small ticket item, a couple of bucks, right? That doesn't require a lot of education. You don't need any education. You're just simply saying, hey, you need to brush your teeth. I have a toothbrush. Here's how you can go ahead and get it. So with that in itself, that doesn't require a lot of content. So what other, what other products fall in this? So if, you're, if, you're, if someone is buying, say, um, a backpack, and a backpack is only about 15 bucks per se. If it's only about 15 bucks, all you can do is say, hey, you know what? Stop loading, stop carrying all your books around. Um, you know, stop carrying everything in your hand. Get this easy to use. Um, you know, very, very comfortable backpack per se. So for those type of specific products, because those specific products, people understand them, people know precisely um, how it could help them. And it's very easy for them to understand. There's a low commitment. They're very aware that for those specific products, you don't have to do much, much rapport building. You don't have to do a lot of work. You can just present the actual solution. You can say, hey, you have a problem. I have a solution. So that's the first type. And you can just say, you can just be promising them a specific result. So promising them a specific result can fall under, let's just say if you have a, a cream, for example, let's just say um, your target audience has acne problems. So that specific individual that has acne problem, you're simply saying to that specific individual, you have a solution. You have a product that's going to go ahead and solve their acne problem. And the other thing that's gonna make those specific individuals probably kind of act a little bit more quicker is if you have some type of a coupon or some type of a sense of urgency, some type of a discount. So depending on your specific product, those are the types of content you should be creating in your specific ad that's going to attract your target audience. So I wanted to kind of just jump online and make sure that I, 
um, did I provide this specific information? Because someone asked me that um, the other day and I thought to myself, you know what, let me go ahead and do a live and kind of just answer that specific question. So if you need help with, you know, creating content, if you need help with um, with marketing your specific products or services, if you need help with creating content that's going to attract your target audience, if you need help with messaging and finding your target audience on Facebook through Facebook advertising, I am currently, uh, I am currently providing a Facebook coaching program at a very low rate. You're going to be able to kind of just go to VladimirMarketing.com, able to kind of just take advantage of this special offer. Um, or the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link somewhere on this specific page. You can go ahead and click on that link, and what the link is going to allow you to do is the link is going to allow you to go to the specific page, which is VladimirMarketing.com, where you can get the details and you can go ahead and join this specific um, you know, coaching program at a very low rate. So essentially, th these are the things that we're going to work on. We're going to work on um, pretty much understanding your target market. Who is your target market? How should you be speaking to them? We're going to work on um, you know, messaging. So what type of messaging you should be putting out there to your target market that's going to attract them to you. We'll focus on conversion mechanism. So your landing pages, the pages that the individuals are going to go to. What do you need to say? What needs to be on it for to convert? And we'll focus on email follow-up stuff so that, that way if individuals don't take action right away, how do we follow up with those? specific individuals and then we'll focus on Facebook marketing itself Facebook ads how to attract as many people to you as possible so hey that's it for this specific episode this does it and I'll see you in the next episode